Hey everyone, this is Broomster, and this is number 63 in my Sudoku problem series. This is an arrow problem by Ru Chang Lin. Um, and this one, my testers basically think is a little bit harder than some of the ones I've done recently. So um, the way arrows work, of course, is the digits placed on the arrows must be, uh, the sum of the digits placed on the arrows must be placed in that arrow circle. And the goal of this one, of course, is to place digits in all of the cells marked with an X. Um, there's a link to this problem below where you can give this one a shot for yourself. I'm going to wait for a few seconds and then I'm going to be back to try and explain how this one works. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I looked at this one. I probably should have given it a run. So, of course, the trick on this one is to look at box five because these are all the cells that we need to fill. So the first question I normally ask myself is where does nine go in this box? And I could put it, it can I cannot go on a two cell arrow because in order to go into a single cell arrow, it would be nine zero to, to sum to something. But if you start looking at eight, you start running into other issues. So because eight could go with one to some to nine and it all of a sudden could go almost anywhere. So what you need to do is you actually need to look at what are the totals that these could be. So the maximum that these could sum to is 17 if this is eight and nine. The maximum this could sum to is nine if um, it is just nine, um, or the maximum these could sum to is eight and nine, basically. It's just the way it works. But the maximum you could make this sum to is nine. And if you make this sum to nine and these eight and nine, what do you end up with? Well, if this was 17 and this was nine, you would end up with uh, 17 plus nine is 26. And if you add two to that, you get 28. And these are the maximums that you can do. So if you get 28, then that's nice, except the entire box must sum to 45 because one all of the digits one to nine sum to 45. So if you subtract the 28, which is the maximum you can put in those cells from 45, you are left with 17. But 17 is the maximum you can put into two digits. So these become 8, 9. But this was forced by this being a 9 and these being 8, 9. That 9 makes this 8 and this 9. Now, this being a 9 means this these two can't be 9 because these are the same digit because it's a single cell arrow. These become 8. This becomes 9. Now, the question you now want to ask yourself is, where does the seven go? Well, the seven can't go on a two cell arrow because it would have to go with a two and there's no two available. So the seven goes on here is a one seven. And this one tells us this is the seven. This is the one. The digits that are left are three, four, uh, five and six. Now, three and six sums to nine, four and five sums to nine. This can't be three, so this can't be six. I can't put five in here at all. So this is the five, which means that this is the four. There's no four in here. So this is the three and this is the six. And that's the solution to the problem. This is the way that I've worked through this one. Um, I could not find another path. I wasn't given a specific solution path, but this is the only way I could find to solve this. Um, yeah, I kind of like this one. It uses the 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 math of the, the box um, in quite an interesting way. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.